Hey everybody, today on Rado Runs Through, we're going to be taking a look at Floriferous. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules, goofs, you know what they are. And if you've done that, well, then welcome to the garden, which is full to the brim of beautiful flowers like lilies and chrysanthemums and poppies. But there are also various desires to fulfill, to see different things. There's even bounties that we're being sent out on, and there's sculptures, and there's arrangements, all kinds of things that have been brought out here randomly. And what we're we're going to be doing is over three days going for nice relaxing walks from left to right and on the first day on the second day we'll be walking back from right to left and on the third day we'll go for another walk from left to right and at the end of each day we will see what we have seen and hopefully scored a few points along the way now i'm gonna show you how this works today in a two-player run through i am the green player jen is the blue player and we're ready to go i am the first player and what do i do well we start over here on the far west side and i've got to pick do i want to grab this lily this poppy or this desire. And this desire specifically is to um, see lots of the same type of flower. The more I do that, the more points I get. Upwards of seven at the end of the game if I go for that. If I go for this poppy, well, the, the plant itself is not worth anything, but there is a stone on it. And those stones are worth half a point apiece. And you can see there are more of them scattered about. Or do I want to just go for this lily, which is a lovely flower, and it has a ladybug on it. And, uh, I've got to pick one of these, and I'm picking two things. Which card am I going to take, and also what's turn order going to be? Because if I take the top one, then that means when I take my next step, I will get to go first. If I take this bottom one and try to get this big point score and desire card, then Jen, my opponent, will take this or this, and then she'll be first, because whoever is highest up gets to go first on the next step. And we're just going to keep on working our way through it. So what do I want? I think I, think I like this poppy. Not only does it have a stone, which is just implicitly worth half a point, but if I look at the first bounty card, this says that at the end of a day, if I have seen a butterfly, and I've seen a poppy, and I've seen a chrysanthemum, a mum, if I've seen all three of these things, I, if I've grabbed cards that have these, I'm going to score five points. Now, if I don't get it done on the first day, if I do it by the second day, at the end of the second day, I'll score three points. If I do it by the end of the game, at the end of day three, I'll score two points. And when you know... I just snagged a poppy. So, this goes into my collection of stuff I've seen, my mementos. And now, and I got also got half a point. Alrighty, that's a good start. What is Jen going to do? Does she want to be first on the second step? Or does she want to score th snag this thing that lets her start scoring points? Uh, if she can get a lot of the same type of flower. Let's see, looking around. I mean, there's a chrysanthemum, and there's a chrysanthemum. If she could get both of these, she's on her way to doing it. But if she comes down here, she's letting me get first dibs on this, this, or this. And you may have noticed, this card is face down. Interestingly, strictly speaking, the top row has the least good stuff. Because a lot of these areas, uh, you don't even know what it's going to be. It could be something good, it could be something that doesn't help you at all. The second row generally has better stuff because, <clears throat> well... Either, well, at least you get to know what it is. Here you're guessing. Here you, you actually find what you want. This one you know what it was, but this one you know what it is, and you get an extra half point. The bottom row, of course, these are always valuable because these are the main ways you score points. If you don't pick up any of these desires, you're not going to make it very far in the game. I think Jen, with that in mind, will um, forego, and now she's got a goal. Over the course of the game, she wants to get lots of the same flowers. So already we're focusing on different things, and we can take our second step. I get to go first because I'm higher up, and I'm just going to stay right here in the middle. And I just snag this chrysanthemum, which has a butterfly on it. And you might think, oh, hey, fantastic. I've got the poppy. I've got the mum. And I've got the butterfly. That's everything I need for this first one. But the problem is, each one of these has to be on its own card. So I, I need to have either the butterfly or the chrysanthemum again on a different card to be able to score this five points at the end of the first day. All right, so what does Jen want? Well, she could come over here and grab this desire, but I don't know if this one's going to make much sense. This is points for having lots of different types of flowers. And she's already got a goal of trying to get lots of the same type. So I think Jen's, she's going to go for it. Let's find out what she finds under here. I mean, this just came from the deck like anything else. It could be a desire. It could be a flower. It could be a sculpture. It is a tulip. All right, so that's Jen's first tulips. 
She now wants to get more of those. All righty. And Jen is going to be first going into the next round. And let's see here. First of all, if she scans ahead, are there any more of these tulips around? Well, this might be and this might be. But uh, all right. Um, but also, there's a chrysanthemum and there's one over here too. So if Jen could start chasing after those, she'll, um, she'll take the high road. Snag this so she'll still be first. Now she's got... This is not helping her here, but she is eyeballing that one down the road. And what am I going to take? All righty. Well, I got to take this one or this one. Again, I will now have scored a point if I get my second stone. But this sculpture, the way they work is that whoever has the most of them at the end of the game gets five points. Second most gets three. Third place on them gets one. So, I mean, this could be a, the beginnings of a five-pointer for me. And I get another stone. I'll just keep on going in the center. All righty. And, all right, so Jen's up again. So what does she want to do? Does she want to snag this poppy? Again, that would be three different ones. If she had gone for having different flowers, this would be great. She'd have her third different flower. Although, having this poppy, she can see we both can go for this. She's got the chrysanthemum. She gets the poppy. Uh, the question is, will she be able to get a butterfly? Unfortunately, there aren't any. Uh, there's a moth on this one. There's a bee on this one. There's a ladybug on that one. So I think Jen wants to live dangerously. She's just going to take the high road again, and she gets a lily. Her third unique one. And there's a moth on here, which uh, there are no bounties for moths anywhere. But look at this down here. Three points for every moth at the end of the game if you get this desire. What else have we got? Three points for every yellow flower. For every flower, there are three metrics. There is the type of flower, the color of flower, and whether or not there's a particular bug on it. This one wants lots of yellow flowers. And uh, I don't see any yellow flowers that have come out yet. This one wants lots of flowers of different colors. This one wants um, two points for every tulip. So Jen's already on that. Jen probably wants to snag both of these because she's got a moth and she's got a tulip. And we'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, I could jump here, get myself another poppy. Um, Right. And there's also a ladybug on here. You can see, I mean, all three of these bounties are, are, are valid. And if I could get a ladybug and a tulip and a butterfly, I've got the butterfly. Let's get that ladybug. I'm just rushing right down the center. Hardly scoring any points at all, completely ignoring the desires. Okay, Jen continues to go first, and which means she's the first to be able to snag an arrangement if she wants. What these things do is, uh, at the end of the game, you can get one, three, or five points if you've gotten one, two, or all three of the elements that this card wants. And in this case, this wants you to have a lily, it wants you to have a purple flower, and it wants you to have a butterfly. And the interesting thing is with the arrangements, unlike the bounties, where you have to have each of these be on a card. For these, if I if Jen finds a card that is a lily with a butterfly, it'll take care of two of these three things, and that'll be worth three points or even five points. So does she want to snag that? Um, or does she want to get this lily with half a point on it, and it matches her other lily? Oh, things get tough now. So basically, Jen's got a choice. I mean, because she has chrysanthemum, she could try over this. But this is only going to score for one set at the end of the game, whatever her best set of the same type of flower is. And look at that, she could get that lily. If she could get that one, she'll have three lilies. She'll be up to two points off of this. I think she's going to jump to the middle, snag that lily. So now she's got two of them, and she's got a half point from one of these stones. And now all of a sudden, I can take the lead, come up here and get this. I've already got the butterfly. So this is already worth one point to me, and I've got a purple poppy. So this is worth a three-pointer to me. I think I'm going to snag that. Okay. And suddenly, all right, I am up first. Do I want a chrysanthemum with a bumblebee? I don't need any bees over here. Do I want... Well, I, I haven't gotten any tulips. Do I want... I don't think I want either of these nests. I mean, I want all of them, but what the heck. I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, fly blind. Let's see what I get. It's another chrysanthemum with another moth. Okay, so now I've got one of each type. I've got, or almost, I've got a moth and a ladybug and a butterfly. If I get a bee, I've got one of every bug, which means I hope that maybe one of the desires that'll come out on the next day might um, be rewarding me for having different types of bugs. Who knows? All right, so I snag that, and Jen says... Then she's going to boom. She's got her second desire she's working on. Um, so she gets two points for every tulip. She's already got one. She's already got two. And uh, now here's where Jen gets scared. Am I going to take this lily? She wants it. It's her third one. I can see that. But is that what I want? Do I care about a lily? Um, 
Well, the interesting thing is, I don't have a lily yet, and this bounty, bounty wants a tulip, a lily, and a mum. I've so I'd have two of the three. Now it'll be too late for me to get that tulip, but I could still get this on the second day. Plus, if I am up top, that means I will get first dibs on the second day. But on the other hand, I have a moth. This is three points to me right now because I've already got one moth, and I could be on the lookout for more moths. Oh, it's good to be first, but it's tough. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to keep going up top, eyeballing this particular bounty. And so now, I'm almost there. I didn't quite finish it. Did I finish any of these? No, I didn't. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, I did. Uh, because I've, for this one, I've got the poppy, I've got the butterfly, because i got a second chrysanthemum, so I'll be able to finish that one. And Jen's like, no! My sweet, sweet lilies! Oh, no! But... Um, Jen says, well, you know what? I'll go on ahead and have my third desire I'm trying to fulfill. I want to see a lot of moths. So Jen's got three points off this. She's already got five points off of these. She already has two lilies. And so we have finished the first day. We move on over here. And now for the second day, we're going to be going from right to left. So we have to refill the board. But wait, before we get to that bounty time, remember, I know I did this one because I've got a poppy on a second card, I've got a butterfly on a third card, I've got a chrysanthemum, so that's five points for me. Did Jen do it? Nope. No butterflies for Jen. Uh, but don't worry about her. She's just going for a different route. What about the other one? I did not get a tulip, so I didn't finish this one. And uh, I did get a butterfly and a ladybug. Did I get a tulip? No, if I'd had a tulip, I could have finished this one too. Jen snagged the only tulip that was out there. Did Jen do any of these? She has a tulip. She has a ladybug, but she has no butterfly. She has a lily. She has a chrysanthemum. She does have a tulip. Boom. She scored five points on that. So we are neck and neck on the bounties. And Jen's doing quite a bit more on the desires. I do am the only one with a structure. So that's five points to me. Jen hasn't gotten any yet. But anyway, so that's the first day. The rest of the cards, bye bye Gonsville. So long. So we've now got to put out a new grouping going from left to right. And we're just going to repeat this. And we'll see what we can see. So let's fill her back up. That's gone too. Bye-bye. So we got that. And then a face down. And then a face up. Another... Oh, look at that lovely sculpture. And then a face down. And then a face up. And then a face down. And then a face up. And then on the second row, it's all face up. It's just a question of where are the stones going to be. Alrighty. There's another tulip. Ah, if I could have gotten that the first one. And then finally, we have some desires on the bottom row. Okay, two, uh, two points for every red flower. Two points for every lily. Jen likes that. Different bugs. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, bumblebees. Three points for every bumblebee. Same bugs. Pink flowers. And, um, uh, what do you call them? The uh, poppies. All right. Oh, and let's not forget m new stones. So uh, this one's nice. This one's implicitly better because it's worth an extra half point. This one's better than this because this, you know what it is. That's a gamble. All right. So we just lay these out. There we go. And we're ready. I was at the top. So I'm going to be first again to tag this tulip, this daisy plus a stone, or this two points for every poppy. And by the way, I should say, I'm playing the two-player game right now. This is the extended layout. Here's a little uh, on the back of the rule book. Uh, in a, a normal two-player game, you only have five, but for in a two-player game, you can have the extended game where it reaches out to seven. Three-player setup, you can see that. Four-player setup, there's just basically more rows because everybody's going to get one thing every step, and there's always one thing left out. So what do I want? I've got one poppy. No, that's not true. I have two poppies. So this is a four-point card for me. And are there any? And there's another poppy right there. And I could just go poppy crazy. But what about my bounties? Okay, I need a tulip. I need a tulip. I need a tulip. If I look ahead, there's a tulip right now. I could just, you know, a tulip in the hand. It's worth four poppy points in the bush. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to take that. And boom, with like that now on the second day, I will have completed both of these because I've got both bugs in a tulip. I've got, yep. So I've got six. That was a six point tulip for me. Cannot, cannot complain about that. Let's go ahead and slide all this down a little bit. Okay. Haven't touched a single desire, but I think I'm doing okay. And what does Jen want? Does she want a daisy or does she want two points per poppy? Either way, she's going to go um, second on the next step. Has Jen gotten any poppies? No. 
Does Jen need any daisies? No. I mean, she needs this to at least get a point out of these uh, two stones, as an example. Hmm. Yeah, I think she'll go with this. I mean, there's no bounty for a daisy. There's no desires for daisies right now. It'd be nice to get the half point off of this. But, I mean, this is already... Well, I mean, it's not yet. She doesn't have any poppies. Uh, and the thing is, I skipped it. So it's not like she's keeping it from me. But there are poppies in the future. Although what Jen really cares about is the lilies. And she can see there's a lily here and there's a lily here. She just wants me in position to get both of those to keep on working on that desire. Plus, she wants more tulips. She wants more moths. And now she wants poppies, too. All right. So what's next? Do I want this poppy? Do I want this butterfly? Do I want this pink? I do not have any pink flowers. I can see Jen has one. So if Jen takes this, this is two points for her. I could go on ahead and do that. I already have a butterfly. So I've already hit that. But there are bugs coming. Get uh, matching bugs. Get different bugs. And I've already got... I've got one. Uh, I've got... Ooh, yeah. I've got four of the five bugs. Uh, there's actually... Everybody gets a little player aid. Summary of how you score at the end of the game. The desire cards. The arrangement cards. Stuff like that. And um, on the other side, a list of... Hey, it's all the types of flowers. What bug do I not have? I have not found a beetle yet. If I can get a beetle and I can get that unique bugs, I'm going to get the maximum points out of that thing. Are there any beetles to be had out here? Bumblebees. I've got one bumblebee. Hmm. Pink. But, you know, there, there's a pink, there's a pink, there's a pink. If I get this, I, I, I missed this one, but there's a couple of pinks I could grab I, if I snag both of those. Plus, if I do that, I know I'll be happy because Jen, I know Jen wants those lilies. I can see that. Or I could take some chances, which I think I'm going to do. Let's live a little. All right, what did I get? I got an orange chrysanthemum, which does nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. Okay, where is Jen going? Jen, uh, well, all of a sudden, Jen is a, it, she, Jen's a poppy uh, head. She'll go on and take that, gives her a butterfly. That is suddenly worth two points because she loves poppies all of a sudden. Okay, what's next? Um, I want this multiple, I want the, I, I, I mean, I've, I could get more of the same types of bugs, but I've got all the different bugs. There's another half point. Here's a tulip that I don't need anymore. Oh, oh man. I don't know, here's the deal. I've got so many bugs now, it's going to be easy to get more of them. I think I'll jump here. I think I've got my first desire. I want to see mo, mo, mo bugs. So get up there with everything else. Okay, which is not something, but Jen, she can get the tulip. She can get the mum. And whichever way, she'll get first dibs on the next line. Okay. So, she does she have any tulips? Yeah, she already has a tulip. So, she's got her tulip needs covered. She has a chrysanthemum. So, she's got her chrysanthemum needs covered. But she does want more stones. So, she'll go ahead and take that. So, now she's got a point in stones. Okay. And there we go. Joins, joins the party. Along with everything else, just go ahead and slide this down. I'm starting to take up a lot of space here. Now, of course, I'm just putting these all in one stack just for camera reasons, but you can spread these out to keep uh, maybe, you know, however you want to sort things. Anyway, so uh, there we go. Jen, is she going to go in blind? Is she going to get a purple chrysanthemum? Or is she going to get three points per bumblebee, of which she has none? Um, no. But you know what Jen does care about? She does not want to miss this lily, so she is going to guarantee that she'll be first on the next round. And, oh, this gave her an arrangement. She'll get one, three, or five points at the end of the game if she's got a beetle, if she's got a pink flower, and if she's got a chrysanthemum. All right, she does have the chrysanthemum. She does have the pink flower. So now she's on the lookout for a beetle, and she's left me this chrysanthemum, which is a purple flower. I don't care about the purple. I already have chrysanthemums. Um, I do have a bumblebee, so let's go on ahead and take that. There we go. So that's three more points for me. All right, and this is the big moment. Is there something going on here? I mean, Jen wants this lily. It's another half point for the stone. It means she then has three lilies for this. Uh, that'll mean she gets up to two points. Ultimately, four and seven. If she can keep on getting more lilies. Because that's kind of what she's in the lead on right now. But, remember, I've already gotten one sculpture. If Jen takes this sculpture... And if, I, if Jen doesn't get at least one sculpture, she can't score them at all. If Jen just gets one sculpture, this is a three-point card. And it keeps her in the lead. So... She originally wanted that, but nope. Now, there's a fight for sculptures. If Jen can get a second before the game's over, that's five points to her. If we tie, we both get the three. All right, and... um, Right, so that's how Jen played it, and I say, oh, that's okay. 
I wanted all the bugs anyway. I got what I wanted. Uh, I just need one more type of bug, and I will have gotten the maximum seven out of that. Okay, but Jen is still in the lead. A pink tulip. Points for lilies. Yes, please. You know our girl loves those lilies. All righty. So she's already got two. She skipped one. Um, anyway, and she, is she going to be able to get this last one, which is also a butterfly? Although she already has a butterfly. So in the meantime, do I want a tulip? Do I want a pink tulip? Nope. Let's let's uh let's go big or go home. What have I got? I've got an orange croissant <gasps> with the beetle. I've done it. I've gotten one of every type of bug. That means that uh, unique bugs is seven. Nice. And I get last dibs. Two points per orange. I've got two or I've got three oranges. This is a six point card. Yeah, I don't think I can say no to that. Boom. Six points right off the bat with all those oranges that I wasn't even excited I was getting. And Jen says, I like the sound of that. She just got her lily, which was two more points. And so now she's got one, two, three. That puts her up to two here. But each lily is worth two points. Nice. Okay, so we've made it to the end of the second day. Jen is going to take the first step on the third day. But before we deal with that, bounty time. Did I, I, I actually, I got, I got wrapped up. I kind of forgot. All right, Jen has a butterfly. She has a chrysanthemum. She has a poppy. I'm pretty sure she has a poppy, right? Yes, yeah, she does. So on her second day, Jen completed that bounty. She, I know she has lilies. She has chrysanthemum. She has tulips. She, or no, she did that one the first day. She has a butterfly. She has a ladybug. Yep. So on her second day, she got three points there. Jen has completed all the bounties. All right. Have I? I, I don't remember now. I was, sorry. I do have a tulip. I do have a mum. And I do. Do I have a lily? <gasps> yes, I do. Yes, I do. So I made there. And I know I have a butterfly. I know I have a ladybug. And I have a tulip. Boom. Okay. So we are done with those. From now on, it's what can we get moving into the last day of the game. So we clear everything out. And uh, here we go for the last day. And we've got one face up and face down. Face up. Hey, oh, ah, all right, face up, face down, uh, face down, face up, and oh, a daisy, a poppy, a lily, a poppy, a daisy, a lot of flowers on this last one. Not a lot of arrangements or anything. Wow! I, I shuffled the heck out of this deck. No uh, sculptures, no, no, just lots of flowers. And then the last, the final desires. Lots of blue. Uh, two points per purple. Or, I'm sorry, this is not blue necessarily. This is just lots of the same color. All right. Uh, ladybugs. M uh, butterflies. The beetles. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? The white flowers. And chrysanthemums. Jen gets to go first. First dibs. What's it going to be on this last run? What does Jen need? I forgot. Jen, all right, she has a chrysanthemum. She has a pink. She, has, she does not have a beetle. She wants to get a beetle. A uh, beetle is worth two points to her, taking this from three to five. Are there any beetles on display? Yes, there is, right here. And while she'd rather have this lily, this lily bumps her up to the next level. Is there any other lilies? There's so many plants. Oh my gosh, is this the only lily? Wow. No, there's one here. All right, how many does she have? She has one, two, three. She needs... One, two, three, four, five. So she needs both. These are two points apiece. Uh, you know, plus you know more. I think that's more important than that beetle. Yeah. So it's good to go first. You get what you want. Jen has just gotten another lily. She is the lily queen on her lily pad. And what do I want? Hmm. Well, I do have this thing for more of the same bugs. So if I get a second beetle, um, you know that's not bad. Although I already have two bees, so I'm already, you know, if I can get another bee, is there another bee? There's another bee over here on this daisy. And meanwhile, I mean, getting one same color. This isn't blue necessarily. This is just of the same, you know, saying same color. And remember, I already have three oranges, and there's another orange, and there's another orange. If I could get more oranges, I'm getting payday on the orange and more on picking one color. Let's go for that. Boom. Okay. And so Jen is first. She will go again. What does she want? How many purples does she have? She has she has two purples. So this is a four-point card. And she can see I only have one purple. Uh, so a four-point card. That poppy doesn't necessarily help her with anything. Does, so the real question, does she gamble or does she take the guaranteed four? 
thereby giving me first dibs on the next step. I'm not quite sure, folks, but I think, honestly, I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of Floriferous. Yes, I know I'm mean, I'm a tease, but I've got other stuff to film. So, uh, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts for Floriferous, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.